compute the definite integral from 1 to 2 of the function 1 minus 2x cubed quantity squared. So let's begin this by solving a related problem first. The indefinite integral of the function 1 minus 2x cubed quantity squared. Let's find an antiderivative first. The first step here would be to expand if possible to prep this. So if we expand this out using FOIL we're going to have 1 squared minus 2 times 1 times 2x cubed plus and 2x cubed, oops, forgot the 2 there, uh, squared dx. And so if we uh, work out each of these pieces, we're going to have the antiderivative here of 1 minus 4x cubed plus 4x to the 6th dx. And so now we can focus on integrating each piece right here. So let's do the integrals of each piece right here. Um, oh, I don't need that symbol, sorry. The antiderivative of x, or 1, is going to be x. The next piece, the minus 4, will come along for the ride. We'll worry about that in a second. And then there's a 4 that will come along for the ride. And so now we can worry about these individual pieces. The antiderivative of x cubed is going to be x to the 4th divided by 4. And the antiderivative for x to the 6th is x to the 7 divided by 7. And so here's our raw antiderivative. If we were to clean this expression up, we have x minus x to the 4th plus 4 sevenths x to the 7th. There's one antiderivative and adding a plus c gives me the entire general class. Now that I have an antiderivative, I can use the fundamental theorem of calculus to solve the definite integral. So if we wanted to go and do the definite integral from 1 to 2 of this function, 1 minus 2x cubed quantity squared, the fundamental theorem says we need only find a single antiderivative, say in this case x minus x to the fourth plus 4 sevenths x to the seventh, and evaluate that from 1 to 2. So this is now just a basic arithmetic problem. We're going to need a little bit of space to do this calculation. So let me clean up some space and move this up to the top right here. So we're going to bring this up top and pick up the problem here. If we plug in 2 into this formula, we'll have 2 minus 2 to the 4th plus 4 sevenths times 2 to the 7th. If we plug in 1 and subtract, we're going to have 1 take away 1 plus 4 sevenths. And we'll subtract this expression off. So let's see, this is going to be 2 uh, minus 16 plus 4 sevenths times uh, 2 to the seventh, by the way, that's 128. So that's going to give me a grand total of 516, or 512 sevenths. Subtract, um, on this set of parentheses, the 1 and the minus 1 cancel, so we're just taking away 4 sevenths. If we put everything on a common denominator here, we're going to have a minus 14 plus uh, 512 sevenths minus 400, 4 sevenths, or let's see, uh, that would be negative 98 sevenths plus 512 sevenths minus 4 sevenths. Whew. And if we put all of those numbers together, we're going to walk away with 410 sevenths. And so there's our definite integral.